Shay. He is my lord and savior. I like these moves, but I feel like he'd be a little slow, if you know what I mean. Oh no, there's a new meme? The shaggy meme has gotten out of hand. Oh. You know what's funny? I haven't seen these. Oh my god, I've seen these f***ing shaggy memes. Oh, we're doing the shaggy meme? This is my favorite meme of 2019. One, you walk away. Two, I walk on your... Yeah, okay, that was weird. I'm in that weird part of YouTube again, or Twitter in this case. Who did the voiceover for Shaggy? That was absolutely terrifying. And I'm gonna be real with you, I have no idea what the Shaggy memes are, but I don't know if I want to. Are people just like editing Shaggy into all these different movies and video games? That's hilarious. Okay, Dragon Ball Z. That looks legit. Like, I'm not even, it doesn't even look like a meme. Dang, look at those combos, man. Honestly, Shaggy should be a Smash character. I like these moves, but I feel like he'd be a little slow, if you know what I mean. But who knows, sometimes cannabis can help others. Hell yeah, Shaggy. Hey! So I'm starting to pick up that the Shaggy meme has to do with Shaggy's incredible invincibility. And regardless of what you throw at him, Shaggy will destroy you because he is a destroyer of worlds. This is so funny. I love whenever something starts off as a really small meme and then gets completely blown out of proportion. And now, a demonstration of what Shaggy is capable of at only 26.3% of his power. <laughs> what? Wait! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he destroyed the Death Star. Damn. I like how different these all are from each other. It's not it's not like the same repetitive like Twitter layout meme. Danny Bats. I choose you. Oh, Shazam. Say my name so my powers will become yours. Turns into Shaggy. Shaggy. I knew it. I would watch this movie. I this needs to happen. <laughs> okay, I love this one. Yo, the editing on these is like really f good. I'm so scared. Oh my god. I, wish I had a ham sandwich to calm my nerves. <laughs> That's a big mood right there. <laughs> That's good sh man. I think the cute part about it too is Shaggy in the Scooby Doo movies and shows was always the timid one. So this gives them a whole new side of him where it's like, nah, he's the badass one. Trying to make Shaggy into a superhero, I can't. I can't get behind it. I need him to be the chill guy who's like, zoinks! Shaggy would often come to the set and scream at me for not acting like a real god. I really learned a lot from him. Oh my god, is that Chris Hemsworth? These are the best ones. <laughs> Any of the screenshots, just because they're not talking, so you feel like it's real. Shaggy should be yelling at you, for Shaggy is a god himself. There's currently a petition going around to make Shaggy from Scooby-Doo into a DLC character from Mortal Kombat 11. <gasps> Yes, let's, I want to sign this petition. I need to see this crossover. That'd be amazing. Oh my god, IGN got on this. Video game culture and meme culture go so hand in hand that they kind of probably would end up making the DLC for this. Like, not bad Sasuke, man. You made me use 10% of my power. Oh my god. You don't want to see what, uh... What 100% looks like. That's the meme I've seen all over the place. That's combining two memes. I like transition memes. I wasn't even supposed to be in the movie. When filming started, the director realized that they had forgotten to cast. I've seen this one. And he went to play Velma. Shaggy, feeling so incredibly passionate about the project, used 4.35% of his immense power to literally will me into existence. I owe Lord Shaggy my very existence. I can't believe I haven't seen these. Like, I'm on Twitter a lot. I'm surprised I haven't seen it. You're supposed to think your creator, right? You bow down before Lord Shaggy if he brings you to light. One time Shaggy snapped his fingers and Michelle just disappeared. She came back like 30 seconds later, but she looked really scared and kept saying something about the dark place. Oh, stop. I don't want to talk about the dark place. I don't want to talk about the dark place ever again. Scooby-Doo, Buffy the Vampire Slayer crossover. 
That would be awesome. It started off as the kind of the percentage of power, and then it went on to the Thanos stuff and kind of mixing them in these universes that they're just giving him more power. Andrew Viewer, can you give us an example of how powerful 1% of your power is? Remember Planet Apollo? No, exactly. <laughs> Did he get rid of Pluto too? He already killed the Death Star earlier. He's just gone through the solar systems. 1% of his power can wipe out the existence of a whole planet. Everybody needs to bow down to Shaggy right now. Shaggy. He is my lord and savior. Matthew Lillard, behold the tiny oracle. She shall deliver upon thee the great and might zoink. <laughs> Zoinks! For she is the chosen beast of power and like dude, she shall inherit the universe. Love that. Those are totally natural um, arms, for sure. Is this the actor who plays Shaggy in the movie? It's always like really nice to see people who get memed play along with the meme. Like, they're such good sports because of that. So that baby possesses all the mighty powers of Shaggy. Maybe even more. So those were all memes surrounding the character Shaggy from the classic cartoon Scooby-Doo. Uh-huh. So have you seen these before? Yeah, I have. Just the buff Shaggy ones, though. So there have been many versions showing Shaggy being an all-powerful being, and the idea seems to have started from a video that was posted in 2017, which we have to show you now. Oh, I'm excited. It's gonna be awful, and it's gonna be incredible. This can go two ways, punk. One, you walk away. Two, I walk on your feet. Oh, that trash talk. Oh, he ain't taking none of it. Oh, Scooby. Your choice. What the heck? <laughs> I've never seen Shaggy do anything like that. I didn't watch this episode, but this feels so unlike him. <laughs> I love this load frame, so it's just like a shitty matrix. One episode out of a hundreds, he finally has the ability to like kick ass. Looks like he's been practicing some parkour, for sure. I love these fan-made edits. It's just fitting that you have the anime background music. The music fits this perfectly. I kind of wonder where he learned those moves, cause damn, he's a badass. Even taking away the special effects, he's taking on all these dudes. So it makes sense that it, it originated here. I think there's gotta be a little bit more context to this episode because there's no way it's just like going off for no reason. It's not believable for me. If I was a kid and I was watching this, maybe I'd get excited cause I finally see Shaggy like step up to the plate, but I couldn't like be consistent. He just looks too goofy. All right, that was impressive. I've never seen that before. I'm not used to seeing Shaggy in that kind of environment, like where he's actually being a freaking badass. I can see why there's memes about it now. So now that you have seen all these memes, overall, how well do you think these memes compare to ones that you've seen so far this year? They're like, okay. I would say it's like a seven out of 10 in memes. I've seen better memes. Maybe it's just not my thing, but I'll give him a credit. You know how January memes are, they're not the best. So I think this one um, would probably be so, so for me. The bird box was just like the blindfold, like not super creative. This, this is next level meme. It's really good, man. Yeah, dude, this one is just fun. It's like enjoyable. It's not like a, a corny like TikTok trend or anything. So far, I think this is the one that's made me laugh the most, mostly because just some memes, I think I get tired of internet culture and it just starts to get dumb. So it seems that the meme originally started with the video we showed you last where someone took that original clip where under the influence of hypnosis, Shaggy beats up an entire biker gang with the ultra instinct music from Dragon Ball Super playing in the background. Okay, so there was definitely some like stoned college kid watching that at 3 a.m. with random editing software and he was like, hold on, I've got an idea. So after this was posted, there were some jokes about Shaggy being on Dragon Ball Z and relating him to anime. But from our research, the meme didn't really blow up until a few Reddit and 4chan posts with Shaggy became popular earlier this year. Dude, it's crazy how a meme can blow up like that. So given that the lore of this meme has taken kind of so many directions, do you like where it ended up with them claiming that Shaggy is a god? Um, I think it's funny. I don't think there should be any rules. Like if we want to take our fun childhood characters to a new level, why not? Especially for the younger generation. 
I personally wouldn't invest any time, nor would I like search for these memes. 100%. If it wasn't for him and Scooby, you know, a lot of the, the monsters wouldn't have been caught. So. I just think he's finally getting the praise that he deserves. The character's always high, you know, and we know that to make a slow character like Shaggy an all-powerful being is just so funny. I like that it ended there because, I mean, out of all the people in that kind of Scooby-Doo group, you wouldn't expect Shaggy to be the one. It's a very simple premise of just Shaggy, God, and you can go so many different directions with it, and it could definitely become a real religion. So Scooby-Doo originally aired in 1969 as an animated television series, and following the success of the original show, a number of follow-ups and spin-offs based on the original characters were produced, and there is even a new Scooby-Doo series scheduled to release later this year. Wait, really? I didn't hear about that. Scooby-Doo is incredible. Mystery Inc is objectively a phenomenal TV show. So for you personally, why do you think that a cartoon like this from so long ago can stand the test of time and become a part of today's meme culture? Well, it's, I guess it just has to do with like, what people can do to make edits of it. Like, for example, the big Chungus meme, like they took that and then just made it like out of, it blew it out of proportion. Something about it is nostalgic, I wanna say, like it reminds us, a lot of us of our childhood. It's just so timeless. Like people recognize Scooby-Doo, they recognize the whole team, like they're just so iconic. And people keep, and people wanna keep seeing these icons and legends in different, in just different eras. Since they've made so many remakes, I would say, and like, um, it's not just from one generation, it's kind of like been relevant through generations and it's such a classic cartoon and, and story that um, I think anyone can kind of relate to it. So finally going back to Shaggy and how he is the most powerful being out there, is there any character that you think could defeat Shaggy? Oh. Honestly, maybe his dog. No, hold on, take that back. What was Scooby Doo's, uh, like, Scrappy Doo? Scrappy Doo could beat Shaggy. I'd like to see Scooby turn on him one day. I bet Sailor Moon could whoop his ass. She's the justice warrior of the solar system. I don't know if he could defeat Shaggy, but he definitely could go toe to toe with him. Uh, Corey from Corey in the House. When we got to the White House, to Corey in the House, he. He showed us how incredibly powerful he is. Gordon Ramsay's gonna cook him a delicious meal, Shaggy's not gonna wanna fight, and then when he's lulled to sleep by the dinner, Gordon Ramsay's gonna come. You just got Ramsayed. Thanks for watching College Kids React. Shout out to Caroline Davis and Little Edge 3. Make sure you guys subscribe and have a great day. Do you think Shaggy is all powerful? Let us know in the comments. Bye guys. Zoinks FBE viewers, Ethan here from FBE. Hey, if you wanna help support our channel and look great while doing it, be sure to check out our merch page. It'll be shopfbe.com. Bye, guys.